The Corsair M65 RGB Ultra Wireless is the newest in Corsair's M65 lineup, and today I'm going to share that experience with you. Now, quick full disclosure, I've had this for about a week now, and after doing some research, apparently Corsair recalled their first batch of mice, so be sure to stick around through the end of the video because I'm gonna show you how to find out if your mouse was part of the first batch or if it is the fixed batches uh, that Corsair released later on. So with that being said, let's go ahead and just jump right in. Starting off with what's included in the boxes, you will find the mouse, a 1.8 meter or six foot USB type C cable, three additional weights with some fasteners, a USB receiver, as well as the manual and some warranty information. Let's start off with the build quality and first impressions of the frame. Corsair has retained the overall shape and design of the M65, but has given it a few upgrades, which we'll talk about throughout this video. The frame is made out of a lightweight aluminum, providing a strong, sturdy, rattle-free construction. On the bottom side, you will find four PTFE feet for a snag-free gliding experience. You'll also find the three spots to add the additional weights to adjust the mouse from 110 grams to 128 grams. Last, you'll find a switch to swap between the 2.4 gigahertz wireless, the off position, or the low latency Bluetooth connection. We will talk about those in here in just a bit. You will also find a magnetic slot to store the USB dongle when transporting or it's not in use. This mouse combines the Omron optical switch technology with what Corsair has branded with their quick fire keys. What this really means is the left and right click buttons feature a spring loaded, pre-tension designed with zero gaps and is a fancy way of saying they're supposed to be immune to the dreaded double or misclicking that seems to plague Corsair's mice. I'm curious to see how well the durability will last on this setup. So far they feel solid and have a nice feedback sound and feel when being pressed. Simply put, this mouse is a tank, at least to some people. I tend to like my mice on the heavier side, and this certainly caters more to the palm grip type of user, but some claw grip users may find it comfortable. Coming from the Corsair Dark Core RGB Pro SE, this mouse is actually a little bit lighter without any of the weights installed, so I may end up fine tuning with a few of the weights to get a good feel. The mouse has plenty of grip on the thumb rest and the right side using Corsair's triangle logo design, which I thought was pretty creative. And the thumb and sniper buttons are positioned well enough that it doesn't take too much effort to access them, nor do they get in the way during an intense gameplay. On top of that, you will find a nice refined scroll wheel, two more buttons for on the fly DPI adjustments, an RGB light zone that you can quickly identify which DPI profile you're using that can be modified in the IQ software. One thing I didn't care for is how easily the matte finish attracts fingerprints, although it does seem to be able to be wiped off pretty easily, and I'm curious to see how durable that finish will be as time goes on. The M65 offers two different ways to connect, or three if you include the USB Type-C connection. Corsair's Slipstream 2.4 GHz wireless technology, as well as low latency Bluetooth. Over the past week, I've used the Slipstream the most, have not seen any perceivable latency or tracking issues, and I don't tend to use the Bluetooth all that often unless I'm connecting with my MacBook Pro. During some initial testing, I didn't see any lag or issues using the Bluetooth connection, but I do imagine I would notice some lag if I were to use it during some fast-paced shooters or something that requires a faster connection, but for general use, so far, so good. Now I've only had the mouse for about a week or so, so I haven't had time to get full real life results on the battery life. I charged it when I first got it and I'm still close to full. So the battery life is rated up to 90 hours on Slipstream and 120 hours using Bluetooth. This I would imagine is with the RGB lights off. So far so good, looks promising, but I will report a more accurate reading when I do my six month review. Just like Corsair's mice, in the past, the IQ software allows you to customize your lighting zones, key assignments, DPI settings, and surface tune your mouse. But this mouse brings something new to the table. With the addition of extra sensors, we can now assign key assignments by lifting and tilting the mouse to a certain degree. My initial test didn't work very well. I'm afraid to see that this won't translate to the real world very well, but I will continue to do some testing to see how viable this feature is. I can say it is not for everybody and I am cautiously optimistic, but it would be cool if I could get the mouse to perhaps reload a weapon in a first person shooter with just a quick flip of the mouse. 
So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this review so far and just a few final thoughts and something to consider when purchasing. Be sure to look for the dash NA2 at the end of the serial number on the bottom of the box. This indicates the second batch with the quote unquote fixed sensors. Most places should have these in stock by now. Getting the price out of the way, the M65 Wireless Ultra will run you about 120 US dollars at the time of this video. So it is a little bit pricier than some of the other mice out there. At this price tag, there are a few other things that I would like to have seen added with this system is the wireless QI charging system, maybe a few more ways to fine tune a little bit more and a nicer, more flexible, not free USB cable like we've seen on some of their cheaper mice. Overall, I am pretty happy with it so far. It fits my needs and I look forward to see how long this one's going to last. But I will say that this mouse is not for everybody. Due to its shape, size, and weight, I would rate this mouse as a great mouse, but it does fall short of excellent. I will have the product affiliate links down in the video description below if you want to check out more of the specs. Hopefully you found this review helpful. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Here are a few other reviews that you may want to check out, and we will see you on the next one.